Hey everybody, um, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's video is gonna be my vinyl collection of lesser known artists. Um, most of the artists you'll see on this video are folks that my brothers had who have been collecting a lot longer and have been into music a lot longer than me. They're both my older brothers. They have, if not all these artists, most of them have been, you know, I've been turned on to them by my brother. So um, if you want to check out a little shout out, my oldest brother on YouTube is Deep Track Zach, Deep Track Zach. And he posts a lot of uh, rare songs from, from older artists, like old blues and um, rock stuff that, you know, it's outside the mainstream or just real old and not available on streaming apps. Um, most of the time he'll take a 45 that he has and somehow <laughs> transition that into a, an MP3 and post it on YouTube. So look him up, Deep Track Zach. And then my middle brother is Luke's Grooves. He hasn't posted a whole lot, but he has a great vinyl collection and probably will get on it soon. But yeah, so today is vinyl collection, a lesser known artist. I'm going to start with Alan Toussaint. This is uh, on colored vinyl. This is a reissue. Uh, Four Men with Beards is the label on this. But this record is awesome. Every song is kind of like a funky folk um, soul type music. Alan Toussaint, he may not be lesser known to most people, but there are a lot of people, but most people, you know, he's, he's lesser known. But I love the cover art here. And Southern Nights, obviously, it was made popular by um, Glenn Campbell, country song. But this is the this is the best record that Alan Toussaint has. I just love it. So that's my first one. I'm gonna move into country. Billy Joe Shaver. This is a reissue um, of old Five and Diners like me. Again, awesome cover art. Awesome country artist. Uh, has a lot of songs about Jesus and yeah, like one of them's called Jesus was our savior and cotton was our king and then on another record I have he, he has a few more but either way he's just an old outlaw country guy that uh, is very enjoyable to listen to I have another Billy Joe Shaver salt of the earth this one also has a song called um, you can't beat Jesus Christ, but you know, he, he wasn't real popular on the radio. It was more of your, um, outside of a Texas outlaw type country, but look him up. He's got, these are the only two albums I have of him, but he's got plenty to go with. Next one I have is Link Ray. This is one of my grails in my collection. This is an original with the die cast front. I always, the first time I heard the this guy, my brother's got me this for Christmas. Uh, first time I heard him, I said, man, he sounds like a cross between Bob Dylan and the Rolling Stones. And so that was, that's kind of how I feel when I'm listening to him, kind of a folk rock. But he, um, he was made famous with his guitar playing on Rumble. Um, he's a Native American, Link Ray. This is a self-titled album. Next guy is one of my favorite of all time, hit after hit in my opinion, um, on every record you can find, but John Hartford. This is uh, Gentle On My Mind, which that also was a song made famous by Glenn Campbell. But Gentle On My Mind was written by John Hartford and his banjo playing, fiddle playing, singing, it's one of a kind. Folky Bluegrass. I also have John Hartford, Morning Bugle. If you follow me on Instagram, I played a song from this, a little clip from this, a couple nights ago. And this is on. This is on the Warner Brothers Olive Green label. I always thought that looked cool. Next, I have is John Hartford, Mark Twain. <laughs> he's he's got a great sense of humor, a real creative writer, but also. As you see, the you know, this morning bugle, Mark 
twang John Hartford flying fish label. 1978 pressing on that. And then this is by far, in my opinion, his best. Every song's outstanding. Another cool artwork. John Hartford Aeroplane. Get a good look at that. Tons of good songs on here. Um, again, this is an artist that my brother had always loved, and you know he shared him with me. Warner Brothers, he shared him with me, and also sold me this record when I started collecting. I um, believe I have some more Hartford down in here. Maybe not. I'm surprised that that's all the John Hartford that I have. Next is Nick Drake. He was a UK folk, kind of like a cult following type guy. He didn't play long. He might have died early or stopped playing just for drug reasons or something. But look him up if you don't know him. I know a lot of people in the VC know who Nick Drake is. But I found this Canadian pressing just a compilation of a lot of his hits. I need to get a couple of his originals eventually, but this was a good start. This is the only one I have. It's on the island, the island label. But Nick Drake, he's lesser known, very good UK folk. Next one, we'll go back more of a country folk, and that is Larry John Wilson. First time I heard him, again, was something my brother shared me, but I also heard him do a couple solo songs on Heartworn Highways, which is a documentary about Texas country, but he was from Georgia. And he talks about um, the area he came from in one of his songs on here. But this is this is actually a really, really good folky country bluesy sound here. Larry John Wilson. He has a few records. This is called Let Me Sing My Song to You on the Monument label. Sticking with the folky, I'm missing a couple of records I wanted to bring, but sticking with the folky sound, bluesy sound is Fred Neal. I was obsessed with him when I first heard of him at the end of last year. Uh, again, my brothers, but this is his best. It's called Bleaker and McDougal. Sundays, this is a reissue. Fred Neal, Bleaker and McDougal. Fred Neal, Everybody's Talking, capital label. It's from the song, the theme song, Everybody's Talking theme song from Midnight Cowboy. Fred Neal wrote that, performed it. Another one I got was Fred Neal's Sessions. This was what I was hunting for a long time as my obsession before I got into the jazz, but uh, Fred Neal, I listen to him almost every day for a while. Just one of a kind guitar tempo and um, deep, deep, rich voice. So look up Fred Neal if you don't know him. He's a bluesy folk style uh, musician. Very good. Uh, we'll stick with Fred Neal's early stuff where he was with Vince Martin. This is, this is an original mono that I found for a terrific deal on eBay. I got it for $8, but this is uh, on the Electra label, mono, first pressing. Vince Martin and Fred Neal, Tear Down the Walls. I mean, this is from 19, let me get this right, 19 and 59, I think, but I could be wrong. Hopefully I didn't mess up this whole video by saying that, but somebody comment, Zach, Deep Track Zach, comment. What was the year this was put out? Next one I have is Canadian Folk. Um, you've got Ian Tyson and Sylvia. Ian and Sylvia was a folky duo, but they had Great Speckled Bird as a band. This is kind of, again, folk rock. Just terrific music. As I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by a call.
by my wife. Uh, yeah, great speckle burr, folk rock, just really good, you know, one of a kind sound to them, but Ian and Sylvia were a great duo. Then they had this band, Great Speckled Bird. But, and this is on the Ampex label, but if you look up Long, Long Time to Get Old and then Flies in the Bottle, they're back to back on this LP. <sighs> what a combo of songs. It kind of reminds me of the, um, you know, how one song transitions to the next on other popular records. Led Zeppelin does it on a couple of songs. Those two go well together, just kind of how they blend into that new um, melody uh, from Long, Long Time to Get Old and Flies in the Bottle. Look them up. If you look up anything from this video, number one, look up Fred Neal. Number two, look up Great Speckled Bird, Long, Long Time to Get Old, Flies in the Bottle. Deep Track Zach did a, did a post on this too, so those two songs. So look up Deep Track Zach, Find his post on those two songs by Great Speckled Bird. You'll love it. Last one I have for my lesser, lesser known artist, and this isn't an extensive list, but this is just the first, you know, 15 or 20 that I found that I knew I wanted to show for this uh, segment. But um, you've heard this one, if you follow Noble Records and Dylan, on the poppy label, beautiful poppy label, Chris Smither. Folky, um, folk country. But uh, as Dylan said, we gave him a gift when we came when we traveled to North Carolina from Georgia to go through his store. We pitched in and all wanted to give him this. Um, we knew he'd like it with the Towns Van Zant kind of feel to it. But and then the beautiful poppy label. But yeah, Chris Smither is just a you know I love the one of a kind lesser known people that you know just didn't want to fit into the mainstream, so they kept their stuff going. This is a very cool record, um, even as gatefold, so it transitions from normal, fading away, blacked out. I'm sure there's some deep meaning to that, but I haven't thought about um, trying to analyze that. But I just like the, I just like the presentation, and then the songs are great on this on this record. Um, Down in the flood is one of his most popular ones, but. Statesboro Blues, he redoes on this. Friend of a Devil, he redoes. And then my favorite of all is Lonesome Georgia Brown. I'm from Georgia, so I got to love it. But Lonesome Georgia Brown, also shown on Deep Track Zach's uh, channel, YouTube channel. So check out some of these artists if you don't know them. Feel free to comment. We can chat about them. Um, I really enjoy doing this, so look forward to more videos for the vinyl community. And hey, till next time, keep spinning that next play.